Redistricting was front and center in the Wisconsin Supreme Court today with a decision about the controversial issue expected in the coming months. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Mark McPherson. And I'm Maria Lizignoli. Now the two arguments are the Democrats want to overturn the Republican drawn maps because of how they're drawn. Republicans argue it's late to have these discussions heading into an election year. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly joins us now in the newsroom. And Cameron, this discussion surrounds non-connected territories they're calling islands. And you met some Someone who lives on one. Today I met someone who lives in the town of Burke. She's currently in the 79th district, but is fully surrounded by a completely different one. The redistricting will decide who her representative will be. Island is definitely the correct word. <laughs> this is Nicole Blucher. She lives in the 79th district, which is a small island surrounded by the 48th district. We're in the town of Burke, but still technically considered Madison as far as our address. Yes, so it's just three properties. According to the state legislature map, two homes and a plastic injection molding company make up the area. People in surrounding districts rallied at the state capitol for fair maps. We want fair maps. We want fair maps in our state. The executive director of the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign believes the legislature carved and divided communities. We wanted to make sure that the Supreme Court hears the, the will of the people. I mean, it feels like for the last 12 years we've been ignored. He says he wants a nonpartisan group to make new maps. At this point, there, there's, no, there's no time better than right now because we know that the 2024 presidential election is happening, and so they need to be on their horse. And those that live at islands are not sure what the future holds. We'll see how it goes. It feels like change can be real slow going and you know whether it goes in the right direction or not. That's you know another case. And now this case is in the hands of the justices and a decision is expected in December or January. Live in the newsroom, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15 News.